Yo, what's up guys, it's Turn here. Today we're back with a brand new video, and today we're going to be bringing you the next video in the series of the winner's bracket matches and just kind of breaking them down, um, opinions on them, uh, insights onto the teams, and just things of that nature. So today we will be doing the NYSL versus the Vegas Legion. Um, so as you can see, both these teams are 4-1. and one. Um, I think that this is probably a good draw for both teams. I think that for New York, they're a fairly good S&D team, while Vegas is also a fairly good S&D team. Um, hard points, New York was really good at the beginning. I'm not sure if they're really that good at them now. Um, I think Vegas has also gotten a lot better in hard point. But I think I'd probably put those two modes to 50-50. Uh, between these teams, I think the mode I'm really looking at is control, um, and obviously we know how Vegas's control is, um, kind of concerning. Uh, but bringing Sandy in, uh, they have managed to actually win a control, um, as we saw this past weekend. So I think that for those two, I think the thing for me is just making sure that your subs are in the most comfortable positions possible. You're kind of setting them up for success because I think for uh, for New York specifically, I think you kind of live and die by the Hydra Kismet. Um, if Kismet's playing super well, you're going to be playing great. Um, and for Las Vegas, um, if TJ is playing well in respawn, I think you'll be fine. Um, I think it's kind of whoever wins that sort of sub battle between the two teams. Um, their ARs are kind of, you know, Skies and Clay. I'd say this guy's is probably better, but I'd, with their ARs, I'd kind of balance it out. Like, I think Skies is a little better than Clay, but then again, Temp's also a little bit better than Priestess. It's kind of even. For me, it comes down to their subs, really. Um, so let's take a look at the stats um, from Breaking Point. Obvi I didn't give credit in the last video, so I apologize for that. But um, yeah, this is Breaking Point's website. Uh, this is what I use to get all my statistics from. So, looking at the KDs of the players in this match, um, Standy is a 1.23. Um, other notable things, I think, is <laughs> TJ and Priesta having the same KD overall. Um, obviously, TJ's S&D KD is normally pretty high. Um, so, I think it's kind of weird. I mean, his respawn has to be really bad, basically, is what I'm saying, if it's that low. Um, so... Just looking across the board for Standy, he's got a 1.23 overall, uh, 1.29 for his hard point. Um, for his SMD, he's got a 1.58. Uh, for his control, he's got a 1.01. Um, so pretty strong in hard point and SMD. The control is... I, I For Paris, it's really hard for me to kind of judge their control KDs because they're not very good at the mode in general. Um, so I'm not really too worried about that. Um, and then going down the line, temp 1.07 overall, 1.05 in hard point, 1.4 in SMD, and a 1 in control. Um, so I think the th this tr trend you're kind of starting to see is their SMD KDs. Um, they're all very good, except for Clay with a 0.84. Um, and obviously his hard point and his control are pretty good. Like they're around a 1. Which is kind of what you need from him. Um, and I think his SD KD goes up uh, at the event for sure. Um, kind of taking, now that we've kind of taken a look at uh, Vegas and just kind of broke down their stats a little bit, um, I want to take a look at NYSL. So here you have Hydra with a 1.06, you have Skies with a 1.04, uh, 0.98 from Kismet, and a 0.93 from Priesta. Now, the thing that I would have been worried before this, um, without seeing the match that I just literally just watched, I'm recording all these videos on the same day, but I would have been more concerned if they didn't win that map against Boston. But the map against Boston, the control match, uh, where they got out slate heavily, I think kind of showed me um, that their teamwork is really good, and that's kind of what sets you apart from other teams. And even though these KDs are pretty low, like, I mean, Priest is not playing well. Um, Kismet, I mean, 
for Kismet, I feel like this is kind of a normal KD, right? Like, a point nine eight for him is good. He's a fast-paced sub. For Priesta, I mean, he's a flex. You kind of want him slaying. But if their team works good enough to the point where they don't really have to do that, I think that's, like, very telling. Uh, they have a good grasp on the game, uh, understanding it well. Um, and they're good at making use of the kills that they do get. Um, so I think for them, I think you kind of just need to make sure that you don't lose a control to a team like Vegas, because that's kind of, for me, that's when it gets scary, right? Like, I would trust Vegas more in a game five because of how good their search has been the entire year over NYSL. Um, so I think... For them, the path to kind of winning this series would be you have to win first map for sure and maybe steal the game too. If not, that's fine, but you need to win the control. Um, because if you give, like, say Vegas wins the S&D and they win the control or they take the map one, like, if you go to game five with them, like, you, you know what's going to happen. They are very, very good at S&D. Like, I feel like that's kind of a scary matchup for New York in the sense that, like, Vegas just has ice players. Like, Clay is, I trust him to ice up. Obviously, you saw his 1v1 this weekend uh, against Brack uh, in the kitchen. Uh, I think it was round 11. I'm pretty sure it was a 1v1 round 11 where he snaked him. Um, and then Clay ended up killing him anyway. And then you have TJ, who's just kind of an S&D lord and has been for years. Um, I don't really, like, you have Hydra, sure, but I don't think that it's, like, Hydra, Hydra's good, but I feel like he's more of, like, good at respawn. Like, he's not really going to be the guy that's going to pop off and, you know, win a 1v1 round 11. He's consistent throughout the game. Um, so, with Vegas just having those players that can kind of play like that, I think... It's kind of a concern for New York, um, especially if your respawns aren't weren't looking as good as they once were. Because if this was Major One New York, well, I wouldn't have been worried because they had respawns on lock and their search was pretty good. And that's like the recipe for success, obviously. Like if your control is really good, normally you are really good. Um, so, I think for them, just making sure that your respawns are not gonna get stolen by them. Because <laughs> if it does, it's when the series kind of gets scary. Um, but yeah, so if I had to pick somebody between these two that I think uh, is going to win the series, I'm going to go Vegas, and I'm going to go Vegas because I think that with them being such a lock in one mode, it's not going to be very hard for them to steal one other one. Like, they can steal a hard point, and if they get an Xbox control in the series, they can also win that. So for me, I think that that is something to look at for sure. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, comment down below which team you guys think is going to win. Um, and just kind of where you gauge these two teams. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll be uploading another video tomorrow, so stay on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah, see you guys.